I had a great question from Denise at Ferris State University in Michigan. She's creating a scatter plot using Excel and has some duplicate data points, so she'd like to use the traditional method of indicating duplicate points by circling them. We're going to use a solution that I saw a gent named Andy Pope use once upon a time. You can check out his site at andypope.info to see all kinds of crazy Excel stuff. I'm using Excel 2011 on the Mac, but this will work with all versions of Excel. Here's my data. The X coordinates are in column A and the Y coordinates in column B, and they go down to row 8. You can see that one data point, 1, 4, is repeated. Before I plot this, I need to write a little test to see if the data has been repeated, and to essentially create a second series of data that will only appear on the scatter plot if the test is successful. I'll select cell C1 and type in my formula. Don't forget, if you need some time to copy this down, press the pause button and type away. Hit play when you're ready to rock. Okay, we've got two functions here, the if function and the sum product function. The if is testing to see if the coordinate is repeated using the sum product function. If it is, it will spit out the B1 value. If not, It'll enter NA, which means there's no value available, and keep the point for the second series off the scatter plot. If that's all gibberish to you, just type the formula, make sure that you make the two letters the columns where your data live, and change the number 8, where you see it twice there, to the number of rows of data you actually have. Once you've got that formula down there, copy the formula down to the last row of data. Notice that only the row containing 0.14 shows values in column C. The others show that no value symbol. Now let's plot the scatter plot as normal. You can see movies on how to do this with your particular version of Excel at AtomicLearning.com. Once you get your data plotted, we just have another couple of steps. First, I'll format my first series, plotted from columns A and B, as filled circles. Then, I'll change the markers for my second series to be bigger circles. Finally, I'll remove the fill in my second series so that they're just big circles with a line or stroke around them. Now you can see that point 0.14 has a circle around it. If I change another value to repeat, like 2.15, you'll see the NA get replaced with that B value and a circle will jump up over that point as well in the scatter plot.